Hello everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Ghostful Powerful back and I got with another stream tonight. How are y'all doing tonight, chat? I hope you're all doing well. If not, well I hope this stream helps cheer you up. Today is Tuesday, September 17th of 2024. And I couldn't really choose what game I decided, so I decided to settle it with a coin flip tonight. And got heads and heads was Star Trek Online, Tails was Fallout, Tail Two Wastelands. Well, we well as you can see by the category, we got heads. So Star Trek Online for tonight. <laughs> Where we last left off in the main storyline was the was the was basically the Got two more episodes in the future proof thing, in the future proof arc, Temporal Reckoning and Ragnarok. And, and then we're going to be moving on to New Frontiers here. Anyway, let's get started, shall we, everyone? Also, let me get some music going. Do, 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 do. Go 90s rock. Uh, yeah, I had to double check <laughs> check um the name names of the la last ones. Yeah, we're excuse me, we're on temporal reckoning, and let's begin it, shall we? Oh, also, if you if you're also playing Star Trek Online, the new t the Typhoon Temporal Temporal Battle Cruisers came out, so you start you can start working on that. Now, if it may say um 40 points of progress, but all you have to do is basically the task force operations in order to get it. So instead of it being 40 days, it's 20 days. We've lost contact with Temporal Fleet Command. No response to hails. Nothing. The Envoy's Temporal Liberation Front is behind this. We're in trouble. We need to get to New Kittimer and assess the situation. Be ready for anything. There's no telling what could be waiting for us there. Yeah, Daniels, you should also put on a mask of some sort right now. Deadpool looks a lot better than you do right this second. Okay, now we're entering the new Kinemer system, and we're not alone. Reading multiple ships, Kratom, Nakul, Vorgon, and even Spear Builders. I'm also picking up residual energy and debris from Alliance vessels. There's been a fight here recently. Okay, yell alert. Are we too late, Daniels? Not yet. They haven't fully occupied the sector or the station by the look of things, but we need to move fast. They've shut down the temporal operations relay, so we're on our own. We won't be able to contact our ships in the time stream without it. Once we get the ops relay online again, we'll be able to call in reinforcements and secure the sector. Let's make a surgical strike before they can reinforce their positions. Very well, Helm, take us in. Oh, shit. 
fortress mode. Entering transporter range. The station is currently unshielded. We're ready to beam the away team down on your on your order. Picking up numerous enemy life signs over there. Would expect a warm welcome. Understood. Beam us down. Yeah, I can't wait to give myself this. Give myself this. Oh, also, there's some free stuff in the um in the C store under the promotion tab. It's mainly stuff from lower decks. Like I, I have to wait till this loads up so I can show you. But I'm really excited for for this. Mainly because I'm an old school player. I've seen the original ty the original typhoon. It may have been janky, it may have been a kid bash, but best way to sum it up is it's ugly. I love it. <laughs> okay, Admiral a word. What's on your on your mind, Tarsi? Something's not adding up here. We've encountered a token resistance force beamed over without incident or obstruction. It's a feeling a little too easy for me. Yeah, I'm not sure where I like where this is going either. Feels like we're walking into a trap and Daniels is on point here. Is there something he's not telling us about the situation? Yeah, my tactical officer brings up some good points there, Daniels. I agree. They must know we're here. We fought our way in. Is this a trap? Possibly, but not one of my making. It's simple. The envoy and his forces need to be stopped right here, right now. Trust me or not, but we need to complete our mission here. All right, Daniels, I, I still trust you. It's a case of this isn't seeming right for us. Something's ba something bad's going to happen soon, but we'll see you through this. We'll see you through this with you. There should be a command level access console in what used to be the main assembly hall. From there, we can get the ops relay back in business. All right, let's proceed with caution. I'm not, I don't like surprises, so keep an eye out for everything. Let's go. Let's try this door. Okay. We're going to have to find another way. Yeah, that's locked. Wait, someone's coming from down the hall. Okay, we'll continue to cooperate with the envoy and his forces for the moment. I care very little for his lofty dreams of temporal liberation. But if he provides me with the means to save, I'm sure he will have my allegiance to the end. And should I hold the toxic tot in my hands, I will use it to remove every star in the Alliance from the sky. Ooh. Oh, by the way, I'm running a different ground setup. In case you're wondering, it's a uh, somewhat meta, which is the two-part not cool temporal operative set, the shield and the assault assault minigun, whatever you want to call it. I anyway, I but I'm not using that, and also having equipped the. Uh, from the discovery reputation, 
the CQC armor and environment suit. Okay, from a credum journal entry, ah, Anorax, your noble dream will soon become reality. The Federation will fall and the credum appear will be reborn anew. The end game begins, Anorax. Upon the ship that bears your name, we will end this war and destroy our hatred, hated enemies of Procyon 5. We will be free. Okay. I am not liking how this is going. <laughs> Enemy reinforcements beaming in at the transporter pads. Distortions. Let's try one of the consoles for the main doors over there. Still no luck. Head for the other side door at the far end of the hallway. Yep. But first, before we do, wait till this is till we're out of combat, and want to swap to a different thing. The minigun here. So the door. Bad. My mission at Galorn de Cor was a failure. The retribution was lost to the planet killer, but my command and crew and I escaped. At least the Envy's new temporal escape pods worked. Another failed scheme, my impatience grows. It is, a it is the time for action, and yet we keep pursuing these schemes. Soon, he tells me, soon we will strike the Federation's death blow and seize control of our destiny. For me, it will not be soon enough. Archer, Daniels, Walker, Wiles. These are the names of our greatest enemies, and I yearn to end each and every one of them, and I will. And then I will finish what Voss began, I will restore Nakul. <laughs> okay, it's securely locked. And let's open the door. Okay, password occurred sequential lock 13, 21, 34, 55. Um, let's try. Nope! I was wrong! Eighty one. Thirty five. The reason why I did that is just because I could. And finally, 89. Ooh, gotta get that out of my inventory fast. I don't want Tribbles to fill my inventory. See, I'm gonna swap with my weapon. 
I'm gonna swap my weapon to the sniper rifle, the uh, assimilated plasma one. Hold your fire. I'd like a word with our guest. You've come so far, done so very much. Time and again. You devastated worlds and civilizations, all in the name of your proper timeline. Today, at Procyon 5, your reign of terror will end. We will be free. You know Krog, of course, and Boratus, but there's one more player to meet before the end. Come in, my dear. Join us. Don't mind if I do. Oh, great. You're probably wondering why I'm here. Yeah, I'm wondering why I've got the real Funny thing instead story. of Dove. When Archer, our Archer, found the Defiant back in the 22nd century, there was a message in her computer. For my eyes only. It took a while to get to me, but it was worth the wait. It was from our gracious host, telling me that the Defiant wasn't an accident, but his gift. The gift of Empire, and an invitation to more. Seems only fair to repay such generosity with a gift of my own. Enjoy. No. Daniels. The Terran Empire stands with you, Envoy. Noi. Ha! <laughs> Welcome, Admiral. And thank you for the fine gift. Noi! It's... It's you. I've been waiting for this for such a long time, old friend. Your alliance is lost, and your life is almost at an end. Our destiny awaits us at Procyon 5, my allies. Let us depart. No! Today, Azur will be avenged by my hand! You're not the only one seeking justice today, Vorgon! As you wish. Make them suffer. Okay. At least it's not my hologram betraying me. <laughs> dead it, it, it happened so quickly after all he after all he's done all he's been through just to go out like that he wants us to go on honor his ass he wants us to go on honor his sacrifice all right of course Admiral we've secured the base at least for now I believe we can store the temporal ops relay from that console over there once it's up one is once it's running we can bring in some backup yeah let's do this then Noi and his friends have a lot to answer for. Miles and Scarlet lock up to Daniels and beam him up. Unlock all security doors. Back to the main prompt. Activate the temporal ops relay. Turn the main prompt and exit. Okay, 
Temporal ops relay active, and I've sent a distress signal to all vessels in the time fleet. Ready to head back to your ship? Not yet. I want to see what's in that last door. I was right! <laughs> And let's read the path here. I've had many a suitor in my time, but... Oh great, Dad's at the door playing the... Er playing... <sighs> yes. Oh great, he wants to help! Go away! <laughs> uh, I don't know if you heard any of that, but that was my dad interrupting things here. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's brought me the sweetest gift of all, the means to seize an empire. All for the price of killing millions of people I want to see dead anyway. How could I review such a generous offer? Of course, once this new normal crusade reaches its climax, I'll have to remind my generous suitor who leads and who follows. Empress Lita does have a lovely ring to it. Okay. Disciple of Sun Tzu. Okay, let's beam up now. Oh, I finally got around to seeing what my dad sent me. Okay, some coffee. The name of it is Wake the Fuck Up Sprinkle Tits. Today is not the day I will shank you with my horn. Extra strong dark coffee, and it's a picture of this unicorn that is really sleep-deprived and angry. And the other one, i it's a video which I will take a view later. Okay. Let me just reconnect the stream deck thing. There we go. Welcome back, Admiral. It looks like the envoy or Noi has left the ISS Enterprise behind to deal with us. We got a fight on our hands. Well, let's not disappoint him then. Red alert! I get those. Well, well. You really did a number on poor Krog and Baratus. I have to say, I'm more than a little impressed. Between you and me, I think the Vorgons are upset with you. Enjoy! Tarsi, defensive pattern, wild scamma two. Almost 
Terran efficiency. Aren't you supposed to be from the good universe? Oh, well. Perhaps the Krenim will get the job done. Keep running, Lita. I'll run all the way back to your own universe. <laughs> All ships hold. There are too many of them. Oh, I don't really care. <laughs> What's wrong? I thought you wanted to catch me. Enough, Lita. Our battle is at Procyon 5, not here. All ships, set course. Now. Ta-ta! Until next time. Sorry, we didn't get your sword. What? Bad. We lost Daniels. I'm sorry. He was a good man. The war was taking a heavy toll on him. Particularly the Battle of Procyon 5. The enemy keeps attacking us there, and they're getting stronger each time. Each Alliance victory has come with a higher price. For Daniels, especially. Yeah, his scars. Yes. He was a crucial figure in the battle, at the heart of it, every time barely surviving in some cases. And now, he's gone. We might not be able to win it without him. He want us to keep fighting, and that's exactly what I intend to do. Okay, let's recall our... call all... all Valkyrie fighters. All decks report ready, Admiral. We're cleared to leave the system on your order. Gage. Okay, the loss of Daniels is a blow to us all. We could certainly use his counsel now. Noise treachery has taken a bloody toll. I should have seen it coming and prepared for it. For now, we must forge onward. The arrival of Admiral Admiral Lita's fleet could tip the scales in Noise's favor permanently. Prepare yourself, your crew, and your ship. We're going, we'll, we'll, we need you at Procyon 5 as soon as you're ready. Oh, yeah. Take one of those. And. Noi and his allies have engaged Alliance forces at Procyon 5 in the 26th century. Your work at Nukitamar allowed us to summon our ships to the battle, but they may not arrive in time. The combined power of the enemy fleet may be more than we can handle. 
Join the Alliance fleet as soon as you can. We must face the enemy and we must win or all of history will be lost. All right. And to Procyon 5. Let's begin Ragnarok. Time is short, my friends, so I'll make this quick. The battle is not going well for us. We have already lost Daniels. We're outnumbered and outgunned. Pausing this for now. Because I need to change it. There's only one ship with the power to use the Tox Utat effectively. The Enterprise. She must survive at all costs. Which one are we Today talking we're about? we're fighting for the past, <laughs> present, and future. Kidding, by the way. So fight hard, and fight well. Dismissed. Okay, let me just... Skipping... Here we go. Alright. Spear builders will start generating an expanse. Admiral, radiation levels are rising in the sector. Won't be long before our shields and life support systems are overwhelmed. We route power to the shields and life support as needed. Let's deploy the fighters. There's a lot of enemy ships out there. The Enterprise looks like she might be getting overwhelmed. Fortunately for them, the cavalry has arrived. We're more than just the cavalry. We have the means to put an end to this whole conflict. The Tax Uthat. All ships. This is Chekhov. Protect the Enterprise at all costs. Helm, take us in. We must get the Tax Uthat to the Enterprise. Here they come. Okay, now what are you trying to say? We've done it. Find a suitable location and I will beam down with you. Understood. Tarsi, find us a good place to be where we could beam in. Scanning. Got it. Found a transfer site close to the engineering center on the Enterprise. The enemy presence there is minimal for now. Very well. Send, in the, send the coordinates to Captain Chekhov's ship. We'll beam, da beam us down, Tarsi. Just so we don't get confused on Lita's, we're gonna go bring out one of my other 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 people here. Five of fifteen here. The engineering center isn't far, Admiral. 
but I'm reading multiple life signs ahead. We need to hit them hard and fast before they can beam in reinforcements. Acknowledge, ready weapons, and move out. Captain Dax to all hands. Great for impact. Behind us. This is also why I... <laughs> Why, if you're gonna bullsh- if you're gonna pull off a bullshit ma ma maneuver might as well take the na cool route of distortions. Let's open the door. Okay, Yosa. Thank you for lurking. To all hands. Brace for impact. Sounds pretty rough out there. Yes, let me contact command on this. Wait! My transponder's missing. Can someone call for a medical worker then? <laughs> Scotty? <laughs> that would be this wee temporal beacon. Oh. You brought me here. <laughs> well, oh, shame. thank you. <sighs> well, this is unexpected. Holding on to that beacon for many a year, waiting for a signal. Better late than. Hold on a second. Let's move over here so we're not in the way of any fire. Holding on to that beacon for many a year. Waiting for a signal. Better late than never, I suppose. Where and when are we? If you don't mind me asking. We're on board the USS Enterprise J in the 26th century. Oh, aye. Judging by the sounds of things, I'd say we are the kind of trouble that Enterprises get into regularly. Am I right? Uh, that's a fair statement, yes. <laughs> well, we better get to it then. Wouldn't want to let a fine lady like this down, would we? No, we would not. Glad you're with us, Captain Scott. And also, I am going back to full the full lotto here. Quite the ship, this Enterprise. Wait until you see her on the outside. Are we in some sort of nebula? First, and if we don't stop it, we're all done for. More borders! Okay. Engineering? I hope. All right. We need to integrate the Tox Uthat into the primary power network of the Enterprise. Scotty, I could use a hand here. Do you think you can handle 26th century engineering, Scotty? Oh, I think I'll manage. We'll get this gadget of yours hooked up in no time. Excellent. We'll do what we can to help you both. Let's begin the integration process. All right. We need to reconfigure these consoles to work the tox with that. Incoming! Keep working, Scotty! Ah! Blinded! Keep your head down over there! Come on. Now activate them so we can put them to use. Activating? We'll realign the consoles. Watch out for our friends from the Terran Empire. Behind you! These Terrans don't give up, do they? I wrote this one. We better stop using it. Terran? As in the Mirror Universe? No teeth and agonizers? Yep. The same. So let's get this done quickly, Scott. I like that. I like this act like complete looking glass gladiator. <laughs> Alright, let's deploy the core integration chamber and wrap this up. Alright. Let me just grab the stuff here. I really need to get myself a newer. 
newer primary weapon here. Okay, deploy core integration chamber. Hopefully we won't get any more uninvited guests. <laughs> and that phaser turret is just no stuck there. We're bound to get some now. Okay, configure, configure. And deploying. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> nice try. But you're done here. Oh, none of you look like the beg for mercy type, so let's just skip to your execution, shall we? Why don't you go out an airlock? You're right, Scotty. Ah, I hate it when I get more or less flashbang. with an angry laugh and her band of thugs. And I am glad for the distortion. Take the Scotsman alive. Oh no, you don't. I've had more than enough of this. Terran forces, this is the Admiral. We're leaving. Uh, now, I guess there's in the fire. Uh, sure. Good luck with your fool's errand, Noy. You'll need it. She fights like a Klingon. I might be getting too old for this. Nonsense! Shot You're fine. Need to shot power surge to the command relays. They're offline, but Scotty and I can get them running Nonsense. again. We just, just need the time. Okay, you'll have it, Captain. Losing the Terran fleet won't make Noi happy. He'll send every ship he has at the Enterprise. You need to keep her safe while we finish the job here. Understood. Good luck, gentlemen. Transport standing by, Admiral, ready whenever you are. I have to beam up, Scarlet. Energize. We need to get... <laughs> oh, great. We have to get the ship... All of our fighters must have got blown out, blown up. Admiral, the Terran fleet has withdrawn. Remaining Where enemy forces are regrouping. Command? It looks like they're focusing on the Enterprise. Alliance Force Forces, this is Admiral Wiles. Protect the Enterprise at all costs. Scotty and I need more time. Protect the Enterprise. She and we'll try to get it. Control and check the compromise. Repeat. Oh, now 
Captain Fire! I did not mean for that to happen. Basically, we're, it's like cleanup duty now. And capturing Noi. You're not escaping this time. I've attacked a wolf beam inside aboard the Anorak's Admiral. You must down, it's time we end this now. Uh, just have to wait for it to load up. The KIS Anorax. Or was it KIV? I can't remember which. Anyway. Reading a fluctuating level of Kronton energy within the a within Anorax, Admiral. Their temporal dive may have taken damage in the fight and has be and became unstable. We are close to the bridge. I recommend securing, securing it and shutting down the temporal core before it reaches critical levels. Right, let me know if the levels start to go critical, Tibet. Ugh. Come on! Hi, everyone! Oh. Hey! Okay, initiate temporal shut core shutdown. Access denied. Dang it. Let's override it. Access denied. Sorry, I could not greet you properly on the bridge. I'm afraid I had more pressing matters to tend to elsewhere. Rest assured, I'll be dealing with you and your thugs. Soon it's o it's over, Noi. Stand down while you still can.
noise in the in temporal engineering, it looks like he's trying to open a time vortex without fixing the temporal core. If he does so, the coral breach and the subsequent shockwave would des devastate most of the beta quadrant. He's lost it. We need to get down there now. Let's unseal the door. Turbo lift. Okay, come on, we need to get there faster. No, 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 you're not doing that to me. Okay, I need to swap to a different thing. And let's. Ah! That was one of mine. I suppose this was inevitable. So be it. It's time. Time I put an end to this charade and to you. Okay, let's get up there. I will deal with you myself. Yeah, I'm gonna go back to this. <laughs> we should go to this again. Okay. Then I must bring the temporal core back online. I must. Fine. I'll deal with you myself. Guards, kill them now. Oh, they're on the other side. I end once and for all. Around the others here. I hate those those Kraton mines. Okay. And so it ends. Finish your bloody work then. Send me to join Clouda in oblivion, as you sent the Tutarians and so many others. Kill me, if you have the stomach for it. It's not your time, Noi. You'll live. And you face judgment for your crimes. This won't end with me. Others are out there, watching. They see your tyranny, 
and they'll rise up just as I did. Your time will come. Pity I won't be there to see it. Miles to Scarlet, Noy has been taken into custody. Beam him to the brig. And let's shut down the temporal core here. Reading multiple Klingon life signs on Yorktown's bridge. Huh? Okay, noise secure the brig admiral. We're ready to be to Scarlet on your order. Energize. Ah, Sorry, Daniels! You're alive! <laughs> Daniels, you aren't you dead? I was, in a manner of speaking. Stopping Noi altered the timeline in a number of ways, including one where I lived. Noi is done, but his allies are still out there. Any of them could try to take Procyon again, so we'll need to stay vigilant. And so, for now, this is goodbye. Good to see you again, my friend. Well, Scotty. Let's get you back to the 24th century. Do you mind a quick stop in the 23rd first? I'd like to see the Enterprise, our Enterprise, one last time. I think that can be arranged, old friend. Two to beam up. <sighs> it's good to know they're out there. People who come through in the end. People like you. What you did today will remain secret. No parades, no celebrations. Still, there's comfort in knowing the timeline's secure. Take pride in that. Of course. On behalf of myself and the countless others you've saved today. Thank you. Not a problem, Daniels. It's my, d it's my job, basically. Besides, who cares about... About medals and parades and all that. I like a, just simply a job well done. Well done. With your help, we were able to stop Noi and preserve the timeline. I am proud to have worked with you, my friend. Do Danya. Just get that. And Ragnarok is done. We've been in regular contact. They've recently unveiled a new starship designed for space exploration. They're eager to head out into the unknown, and they've asked us to give them a hand. Starfleet has decided to send you to assist them in their first voyage beyond their home system. This is an exciting time for the Lucari. Watch over them and help them to see the value of space exploration, and let them make discoveries and follow their sense of wonder. Just don't let them get in over their heads. Okay. I think I'll be getting that once we're done here. <laughs> done with this one. And I'm just gonna transwarp there. Alright, let's begin Echoes of Light. By the way, in case you're wondering about the Galactic Red Alert, I've already got it done. I'm saving those upgrades for something real special if I get my hands on it. But also, I'm saving the... There is an upcoming upgrade weekend, which means I all those... All those Phoenix upgrades I got, I am going to be really happy upgrading everything. We've arrived at the Lucari system, Admiral. I'm reading their starship in a standard orbit there. I'm picking up some comm traffic. It sounds like Captain Kamarke is in the middle of dealing... In the middle of a discussion with a Ferengi Daimon. With 
Okay, Helm, take us to the Lakari ship. My dear friend Kamarka, just think about how much what? I can help. You. I thought I'd seen the last of you. Uh, 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 that is to say, uh, we meet again. Ah, Madrin. Fortunately for you, our business is with the Lucari today. Oh, come now. I'm sure we can reach an agreement that is to everyone's liking. I'm prepared to offer you an exclusive, once-in-a-lifetime investment opportunity. Tarsi, cut the channel. Hail the Lucari. Thank you. That insistent Ferengi has been trying to make new trade deals with us since he first visited our system. Oh, everything he tries to sell is either broken or worthless. No problem. You look well, Captain. Thank you. It's good to see you again, and under much better circumstances. You'll be happy to know that our star remains stable. We've not seen any Tholian ships since the incident, thankfully. The decision to explore was somewhat controversial, however. Many Lucari were... resistant to the notion. We settled this moon long ago, after we were forced to leave our dying homeworld of Kentar. It was a... difficult journey for us. Once we found our new home, no one was very excited about space travel. Okay, um, I'll be right back real quick. I need to get something to blow my nose. Sorry about that, folks. Anyway, let's continue on here. Still, the exploration initiative passed. Considering my experience, my people have chosen me to command the LSS Concordium. It was an honor I proudly accepted. Our ship is ready to go, and you are. Okay, let's proceed. Actually, let me, tell me a bit more about your ship. While we have some catching up to do, we've engaged the best engineering minds of our world to modify this vessel. I'm quite proud. We've done a lot in a very short period of time. We've added some of your defensive technology to this ship, as well as some warp drive upgrades. The Concordium is now capable of sustaining a top speed of just over warp 4. Our collaboration with your engineers has been quite inspirational. We've started work on a starship of our own design. One of many to follow the Concordium to the stars. Our ship is ready to go, and you are. Okay, let's proceed to our destination. For our maiden voyage, I've chosen a star that is close enough to be within reach, but still just outside the area of space that you've explored, and obviously one that we haven't visited yet. According to your star charts, it's a yellow-white star called 20 Draconis. Okay, navigation, prepare course. This isn't over, believe me. The next deal we make will be on my terms. What a salty Ferengi. Alright, let's warp there to the 20 Draconis system. We've arrived on the outskirts of the system. There's a large field of rocky debris and asteroids. We're picking up various metals and crystalline formations. Should we approach one of the larger asteroids and take some more readings? Yes, we'll head to one of the larger asteroids to scan it. And... Readings coming in now. Large quantities of silicate, hematite, kefnium, iridium. Crystalline structures appear to be the result of deposits created under a heavy impact. Perhaps this asteroid was part of a larger one that broke up in a collision. Heading deeper into the field may yield more clues. Agreed, let's head deeper into the asteroid field. Sensors are picking up some movement on the far side of the asteroid. Not simple orbiting debris, either. Cosmosoans! They're beautiful! Do you have any information about them? Yes, they're called Gekli. We're sending you the data files on them now. 
directly communicate using radio waves and feed on dust particles and energy emissions. And, oh, it seems an adjustment of our EM band is in order. I don't like the idea of the Concordium becoming a Geckly food source. Uh, we're adjusting our EM band to 0 .0 0 0.002 cycles as well. Ah. There we go. We've adjusted our power systems. I'd like to gather more data on the Geckly before we move on. Okay, we... Suggestions? We could tag them with subspace data transmitters. An excellent idea. We'll be able to track their movements and learn more about their migratory patterns and feeding habits. We'll need to get close in order to attach the tags safely. Agreed. Get close to Geckly and attach the tags with minimum force. Data's coming in from the Geckly. I'd like to expand the number of tagged subjects to optimize data collection. Let's get close enough to slip in with a pod and join them in their swimming. Right. Fly, fly to one and watch as they swim through space. <laughs> Come on, turn. Okay, we're in position to move with the pod. We're getting close up readings from all of the creatures. Treating us like one of their own. They're trying to talk to us with their radio waves. <laughs> okay, we've dropped out of range of the pod. Uh, come on, get closer. There we go. That was incredible. What a singular experience. We've spotted a larger group of them in an area not too far from here. This looks like a feeding ground for several Geckly pods. Let's go have a look. Farewell, Helm, take us to the Geckly feeding grounds. that to illuminate things that might be happening in different spectra. Okay, we can emit a multi-spectrum particle wave. There's some kind of subspace shearing here. It's causing cosmic strings to snap off and break up the asteroids. That must be why the Geckly feed here. There's plenty of particulate matter for them to consume in the debris fields. I think we've collected some solid data here. We're ready to move on when you are. Okay, let's see what lies ahead then. Sensors are reading a swarm of comets passing by this stellar body. They look to have an orbital period of about <coughs> 173 of your standard years. I'd like to know if they came from outside of the system and were caught in its gravity, or if they originated here. Shall we take some scans? Well, that's a good way to begin. This comet is mostly ice and dust. There are indications that the cometary matter formed around a magnetic core. 
The other comets may be more interesting. Let's move to the other comets and study them closely. Agreed, let's check out the other ones. By the way, mining game was this mining game was originally from the the dilithium mine one that's in the beta that I'll just show it on the map one second. Radioactive matter. This comet may have seen some interesting. Basically, the Volgoda Volga asteroid field. Okay. Anyway, the magnetic core must help draw the materials that form the comets. Tractor it. Here we go. Data gathering complete. Welcome the comet. Let us get some detailed readings about its emissions. Based on the structure of its silicate crystals, it's been in a pattern. It picks up energy from its trip near the star, then loses that energy as it loops past the planets. It's like ice melting and refreezing, but it seems to lose a large quantity of energy all at once near here. I'm not sure why. The radioactivity should be steady. Perhaps something is draining the energy? Let's keep looking. Seem to have a long orbit that coincides with the orbit of a Class A planet nearby. I'd like to launch a probe and see if the cometary movements have had any impact on the planet. Agreed. Let's launch a probe and collect some more detailed readings. And just simply have to wait for details. Probe data received. The planet is radiating a considerable amount of heat for its size. Nothing our shields can't handle, but I don't see any expeditions to its surface happening anytime soon. Curious. I'm picking up several large, moving sources of energy. Sensors indicate they're a life form of some kind. A Cosmosoan, but not the Gekli. I'd like to study them if we can. Okay, let's go take a closer look at those life forms. Geothermal in nature, its surface is partially molten. Other side of the planet. No life forms detected planet side. Then again, it is rather warm down there. There they are! Magnificent, aren't they? Yep, Farpoint uh, yeah, I can't pronounce it. Sidereans. <laughs> the creatures are luminescent ovoids? I'm not sure how to describe them. They remind me of an aquatic life form native to Lucari Prime. There are little ones huddling close to the planet's atmosphere. They must use the heat and the planet's electrical discharges to survive. They're a type of Sidereian um, life form. I'm sending you the files now. Interesting. These life forms were encountered by the USS Enterprise D on Deneb 4, someplace called Far Point Station. They haven't been seen anywhere else since. We shouldn't harm them or they're young. Let's transmit a greeting, then be on our way. Right, we'll move closer, transmit a greeting to the Cosmos the Cosmosians. Just let's transmit. The color display must be a form of communication. I didn't realize that life forms could exist in this fashion. Living off the heat of planets, feeding on the particles in space, absorbing radiation from the cosmos. There's so much to see. Let's head to the next planet in the system and see what's there. Okay, let's go.
Are you seeing this? My sensors indicate this planet is completely devoid of any organic material. And yet, it has a breathable atmosphere and lies well within the system's habitable zone. Most curious. Agreed. I think a closer look is in order, Captain. I'm picking up residual levels of radiation. Oh my. I believe I know what happened to this world. Some kind of protomatter wave happened here. Protomatter? That's dangerously unstable. Not if you know how to resolve the chaotic turbulence with a tarfine reduction. Huh. This was a recent event. Some kind of protomatter incident happened, and it wiped out all life on the planet. Okay. I think we should send an away team down to learn more. Agreed. We'll beam down and see what's happening. Okay, Tarsian to Met. Do 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 do. Just have to wait. Oh, not sure I'll ever get used to transporters. Let's see. Initial scans suggest this area used to be inhabited, but I can't find a single trace of organic matter. None. I see some carvings on those canyon walls. Let's take a look. Okay, the pillar near the canyon wall, wall looks interesting as well. The walls of this canyon were worked by tools. I'm sure of it. Sentient life forms lived here until the protomatter detonation. This pillar here, it seems to be a sign pointing to that canyon. Perhaps a pathway there leads to a settlement of some kind. I'm reading metallic objects there as well. Shall we take a look? Yes, let's follow the path through the canyon. Look, there's some kind of large structure further down the canyon. Look at the size of that plaza. These people must have had quite a developed culture. Let's take some readings this up there. Looks like a town square or ceremonial center of some kind. I see some murals on the far side of the square over there by that arch. I'd like to examine them. They might tell us more about this place. Oh, uh, agreed. Let's examine the nearby murals. Okay. These murals depict people bringing some objects to this place. Crystals or gems, I believe? They built their settlement around this site. I believe it was a place of great significance to them. The next mural may hold more clues for us. Let's have a look. Right, let's check out the next mural. This mural depicts the construction of this large structure. I suspect it was a temple or a place of contemplation for the people. The crystals were revered by the locals, perhaps even worshipped by them. We'd better have a look at the next mural, don't you think? Yeah, let's examine the next one. The crystals depicted in this mural appear to be growing for some reason. I wonder if this is a symbolic or literal representation of events. Perhaps the structure needed to be modified to hold the volume of crystals they collected over the years. Crystals may have grown those through natural means as well. Quite the enigma we found here. I suspect there's more to be found inside. Getting there will be a challenge, however. According to my scans, these pillars are connected to some kind of massive mechanical structure. Probably the peak of technology for these people. 
I believe it's some kind of opening mechanism for the structure's door. Can we open it by deploying some kind of device using or using our tricorders? We could probably force it open, but that could damage the structure, and too much force could even collapse it entirely. I suggest we create a holographic forensic reconstruction. A holographic recre recreation of local life? Yes, it would be based on analysis of things like footprints, wear patterns, and local construction. We can learn what people did here, how they went about their lives, and how they made the device work. We'd be watching a replay of history, roughly speaking. Let's start by gathering information from relics and leftover traces of the people who once lived here. Okay, let's look for old tools, footprints, anything that could tell us about them. These artifacts were used with opposable thumbs and indicate a likely hand span of 22 centimeters. The wear patterns here show us that people leaned against here frequently. This was a meeting and gathering area. Based on these footprints, these people had a stride that places them at about 1.6 meters on average. Strange. These relics should be covered with dust and sand, worn away by time and wind. But they're all uncovered. No organic matter left and everything left behind in its place. Frozen in time, like... Like these people died recently. Yes. The evidence seems clear. The proto-matter detonation happened only weeks, perhaps even days ago. We're going to need to make an accurate simulation to continue our studies here. I suggest using modified pattern enhancers to do this. Agreed. We'll set them up. Set them up in the plaza. Enhancers online. The signal is strong and clear. Two down, two to go. That's three. One more and we'll be ready. That's the last one. All enhancers online and standing by. All right. All right. The enhancers should give us a pretty good image range. Your tricorder can then act as the center of the network control for the enhancers. I can tie in my data to your tricorder whenever you're ready. Get a little closer to the center of the square so we can see what happens. All right, let's get closer to the plaza and the center. We can begin. Note that the alien is using the pillars in a specific order. Okay, so this one, this one, that one. They're making the murals match up on each pillar. Then it'll be that one. Looks like some kind of functionary, priest or bureaucrat, I think, would unlock the door by turning the murals on the pillars. The top mural on each pillar seems to be locked in place for reference. We should follow the order they used on the pillar murals. If we can turn them correctly, I believe we'll unlock the door. Turn the murals on the pillars and proper to unlock the door. Got it. Trying to see. Okay, I care. Okay.
you hear that? That's the first pillar set in place. There? Lower? That's two pillars set into place. Three pillars are locked in now. All set. Uh, this does got some cultural interference That's going it. on. It's working. Well done. Shall we see what secrets this building holds? Yes, let's go inside I think and I check. See another mural inside the doorway. Yeah, let's check we out. Take a look at it. Yes, let's go inside and check it out. The next one. Uh-oh. As I said... Isn't that the symbol of your Starfleet? How did it get here? How could it be in a temple of people who don't even have electricity, much less space travel? This is getting stranger by the minute. Indeed, let's We should search the temple for more murals. Yeah, indeed. This Let's look for some more in here. This does not look... This does not seem good. Okay... Those people in the picture, they don't look like the others. They're from Starfleet, but Starfleet of the 23rd century. What happened here? If Starfleet officers contacted this civilization in the past, why wouldn't you have a record of it? We should head deeper into the temple and continue our search. Yeah, agreed. Let's time to search for an time to search for answers deeper in the temple. I think the panel on the wall here can be pushed to open something. Those inner doors across from the panel are opening. What is all of this? According to my tricorder, we've reached Ground Zero. This is where someone detonated the protomatter bomb. From here, a self-propagating cascade of proto-energy radiated outward in all directions, washing over the entire planet. Could this have been a failed terraforming project? Doubtful. I believe what did this was built specifically as a weapon. There's no new ecosystem. All life was... Eliminated. I'm picking up a residual energy signature here. Take a look. 16 centimeter wavelength with a slight K on leak. I've seen this before. It's a byproduct of Zenkathy technology. Zenkathy here? So we found a derelict space station in orbit around this planet. It's unpowered and covered in decades of dust, which made it hard to pinpoint in the asteroid ring. Unfortunately, we aren't the only ones to find it. Several starships have arrived in the system, and are la they're laying claim to the station. What should we do? Give me site-to-site -site transport to directly to the station. Keep the Lucari pr ship protected. Come on, load up. Ow. All right, what? Oh, I know what this is. Well, hello, 
Okay, we're on one of the old K-Series Feder Federation Deep Space Stations, but how did it get out here? What happened to it? An old K-Series, could it be... Ugh, dust this off. <laughs> it says Deep Space K-13. Admiral, that station was lost in time over a hundred years ago. 140, to be precise. I rem I rem Next I'd be more precise, Darcy. We were there, remember? Hello again, old friend. You're trespassing. I'm claiming this station as salvage, along with everything in it. A little piece of history like this will be quite the vacation site. Experience life on the final frontier at Modron's K-13. But I digress. Unless you're here to discuss leasing opportunities, I suggest you beam off my station. This station's not yours yet. I think I'll take a look around. Careful. This old beauty needs some serious repairs. It'd be a shame if something happened to you or the active station on my men found on board. And I see too nothing like that happens, Di uh, that happens, Madrin. Wiles out! Fair warning. My Gnostic guards aren't very fond of intruders. Oh, they managed to activate some of the security fields. Okay. This technology is ancient, but surprisingly functional, at least at a rudimentary level. They built things to last in the 23rd century. The Nausicans managed to get partial power online. They did it in a hurry. It could go down at any moment. <clears throat> in the meantime, I managed to drop those security fields. We can access other parts of the station now. Anything else on the computer? There's some log files to the computer as well. Most of them are garbled, but I believe I can restore the last entry. Let's hear it. Chief Engineer's Log. Supplemental. By my account, we've been hurled back in time to the 16th century. To make matters worse, we're a very long way from the Deniva system. None of our shuttles are warp capable. And even if we could get to Earth, we'd be in the wrong time. In short, we're stuck. There's nothing to do now but wait and try to conjure up a way to get back to the right time. The, there, this computer lost the ability to link to the main computer, but the security fields. But with the security fields down, we could get into the other lab. From there, we may be able to get into the main computer and lock the Nausicans out. That'll keep them from bringing the fields back online or using the station to stop us. Okay, let's see what we can find in the other lab. The fines for trespassing are quite severe, and I. Okay, let's read supplemental. Chief Engineer's Log, March 18th, 1570. Had a discussion this morning with security about our Klingon prisoners in the brig. We can't just leave them locked up, or execute them, or exile them on the planet below. Setting them free isn't a popular notion either. We're still looking for options, but I think the stasis pods we have in medical will come in handy real soon. Stuck a red alert. Doors locked down. We'll have to find a way to bypass them. Things have been really smashed up around here. Uh, let's lock out the main computer. Okay, I'm locking the Nausicans out of the main computer. That'll keep them from taking any more of uh, any more of the station's subsystems. 
Good work. Any more information? There's another log entry, Admiral. Play it. Chief Engineer's Log, April 17th, 1570. Today we visited the planet we're calling Draconis 3 to collect supplies. The good news, there's a humanoid civilization down there. The bad news, a potential Prime Directive violation. Our landing party was seen beaming in by some of the locals. We're hoping that doesn't impact their culture in any way. One thing's for sure, they can't help us go home. Their tech level is Bronze Age at best. Admiral, the station's so old and badly damaged that most of the security systems don't work anymore. However, we can take over the central hub, we can lock it down and keep the Nausicaans from bringing anyone else over. Okay, let's go secure to the central hub. Trying my patience is going to cost you dearly! Uh, oh. Let's read supplemental log here, and those are supposed to be inside the, inside the stasis. Chief Engineer's Log, August 6th, 1570. The Warp Booster Sled Project is officially a bust. When we tried to spin up the coils, we couldn't get a stable warp field. Yashby and Arlington managed to shut it down and stop a breach, but the shuttle's impulse drive is shot. I hate giving up, but we just don't have the parts we need to make it work. Uh, that's not good. Stepping on that. Urgh, I hate. Oh, need to focus on you. Chief Engineer's Log, July 9th, 1571. It's decided. Most of us are going into cryo sleep. Those who stay awake, well, there's the rub. Going to live on a remote part of the planet below is likely, despite the Prime Directive issues. Staying here isn't viable. When the supplies are gone and the remaining power is in the stasis pods, anyone left is a goner. This station will be there too. And that's all the supplemental logs of case cave thirteen. Can't get another to sh to shoot you yet. Let's bring up auxiliary power. Auxiliary power is coming out now. Activating low-level scattering field that will prevent Nausicaa from beaming over reinforcements. Excellent. Anything else? Found one last log entry there, Admiral. Afraid the rest of the computer memory is heavily corrupted. Put it on screen. Chief Engineer's Log, July 26th, 1571. Most of us went into stasis this morning. There weren't enough pods for everyone. Three of us had to stay awake. We drew lots. Tavon, Sheridan, and I were the lucky winners. Since we're out of options, we decided to go native live out our lives under Conus 3. Hopefully, one day our records will be found, and the people of Station K-13 will be remembered. <sighs> Rule of Acquisition 431. When the shooting starts, let the mercenaries handle it. Handle this, Captain! Oh, lovely. The prime is trespassing. The second crash. There. Ammo, we need you to get back out. Need you back on the ship right away. Madra and Anna's Nosca now is a moving to their subdos and the Concordium. Yeah, beam us up now. We'll take care of K13 later.
I see you took out the Nosigans on my speech. I'll just add their fees to your tab. I do hope you're good for it. Otherwise, I might have to take possession of that pretty ship of yours. Come to think of it, I'll be taking your ship anyway. Whether you're alive or not when I do, it's up to you. Welcome to Tribe, Madrin. I don't think you'll like the results. It's often like this, Captain. Dangerous, but also filled with discovery. Indeed. I'd say our first flight was a success. Now we need to share our discoveries with everyone back home. I hope today's events will convince my people of the continued need to explore and to be part of the galactic community. With luck, we'll do this again sometime, and soon. On behalf of the Lucari people, thank you. You're welcome, Captain. Safe travels. I say that these harrowing, these events are best described as harrowing. The Zenkethi have been quiet for years. Now they're using protomatter bombs and committing genocide. There's also the problem K-13. <laughs> By the way, the this is the fleet I'm in right now. Still have to talk to one person to get in my other fleet, usually the original fleet. Anyway. There's also the problem with K-13. What do we do with it? I'll put in a call for our for our fleet to send in repair teams. Our the fleet could take command of this piece of history. All stations have reported in. We could depart on your orders, Admiral. Let's go. I'm happy to hear the Lucari handled their first experience with space exploration well. There's talk of their desire to join the Federation, and from what I'm seeing, they'd be fine members. The mystery of Station K-13 has been solved, although the past violation of the Prime Directive by some of its personnel is a concern. Hopefully the crew preserved in stasis pods will be able to shed a little more light on that situation. Finally. This news of a Zenkethi protomatter weapon is disturbing. I'll be looking into it from all angles, diplomatic and military in particular. We've fought a war with them before, and I'd prefer avoiding another now. Agreed. Let's go with the energy lance. The Lucari have discovered some unusual activity in an unexplored region of the Alpha Quadrant. The data suggests another weaponized use of protomatter, similar to what happened recently at Draconis 3. <coughs> Klingons have sent a ship out to assist with the Lucari investigation there, and we'd like you to join them. If the Zenkethi are involved, we need to know about it fast. All right. Oh, cool. I could get that entire set if I wanted to. But I think I want to get one of these traits. And let's transwarp there. Alright everyone, I'll be right back real quick. I need to get some more drink. So I'll be right back if
and back. I thought he'd put on to the be right back screen. Oh well. Anyway, let's begin off science importance. Okay, what ship are we? The IKS Core. We arrived at the Herzani system. I'm reading two ships in, lo in local space. On screen. Guavan, I am General Logan, security advisor to the Lakari. I have read your report on the incident at 20 Draconis. If the Zinkethi are behind all this, we must be ready to meet them in battle. Agree, the Zankethi are quite formidable. Do you have any questions? Uh, what have you learned so far? We know the Zankethi have developed a protomatter weapon. What we do not know is why. They have not attacked any of our enemies with this weapon. This is puzzling, considering their proximity to several key Federation systems. The Empire has asked, what drives the Zankethi to use such a weapon? And I in to provide the answer. Okay, um, actually, one second. All right, uh, agreed. Let's Do find you out. Do have any questions? Not anymore. Let's get let's get started, General. The Lakari are just ahead and eager to begin the search. I got that ship. It's good to see you again. It looks like we have another incident to study. We sent out a number of long-range sensor probes to this sector recently. After the events of 20 Draconis, I took the liberty of setting the probes to scan for protomatter. I'm afraid they found something. Let's begin our search by sending a short-range probe to the nearby planet. Uh, this is your ship's maiden voy voyage, isn't it? Yes, the project was a community effort designed by some of our best and brightest. With the help of our allies in the Alliance, we were able to finish construction and the shakedown crews faster than anyone expected. The Riscosa may not be as large or impressive as some ships, but she's ours. And she's ready for the job. Congratulations, Captain. She's a fine vessel. The crew of the Riscosa stands ready. Okay, let's move near the planet and launch a probe. Proto matter. Is the weapon of a coward, but we respect its power. Protomatter can also be quite beneficial, General, when used properly. Send a probe. The probe is away. The atmosphere of the planet is so thick it will take the probe some time to get through the interference. While the probe is busy, we can collect data from the planet's moons. At least one moon has signs of protomatter energy. A closer look will give us more information. Okay, the first moon near is nearby. Let's move closer and scan it. Perhaps the probe's information will give us more insight as to why these Let's attacks just get them are all occurring. In Get all the. Sh oh, thought that was one of my shuttles. Not my, one of my fighter squadrons. Scan the moon. Most curious. This is a class Y moon. It's incapable of sustaining most known life forms, but it was scorched by protomatter recently. Why would anyone devastate such a place? I think we should take a look at the next moon. Agreed. Let's head to the second moon and conduct a scan. Perhaps they use the moon as a test site for the weapon. That's a, that's a possibility. If so, it was a poor choice. Why scour a world already devoid of life? Maybe they it put life there? It's to see protomatter used like this. I remember reading about the Genesis device. <laughs> the protobatter was used as a shortcut. Nope. Stop the ship. Scan the moon. Hmm. 
Another enigma, I'm afraid. This is a Class D moon, similar to Luna in the Sol system. Incapable of supporting life, and yet, it has been hit by a protomatter. Why? Perhaps the third moon will have some answers. Let's take a look. Acknowledge, let's head to the third one and run a scan. Another uninhabited moon, but one quite different from the first. What is the pattern? This makes no sense. There is no tactical pattern to these attacks. There oh. must be a reason, though. Yeah, I, I agree. There must be a Let's pattern. Let's figure this out quickly before more lives are lost. Agreed. Scanning. The moon is Class L. I'm picking up some ruins on the surface. Some simple life forms. There's evidence of crude attempts at terraforming, but no signs of a protomatter detonation. It looks like there was an attempted settlement on this planet, but the project was abandoned. By the look of these readings, it took place over a century ago. The probe we sent to the planet is active now. It's sending data back to us. Maybe we'll get more answers after we've collected the data. Oh, wrong. Scanning. The moon is Class L. The probe. Yeah, I bet collect telemetry here. I'm detecting incredible levels of radiation, atmospheric pollution, ruins of great cities, and oh, oh no. Based on these scans, I, I believe this is the planet Kentar, the original homeworld of my people. There are no signs of protomatter here. It seems Kentar was rendered incapable of supporting life long ago by the Kentari. I'm sorry, Captain. I can barely believe what I'm seeing. I've always wondered what became of them, and now I know. Most Lucari thought something like this would happen, but some of us. some of us hoped they would see reason and overcome it. It saddens me deeply to see otherwise. I understand. I suppose you have some questions for me. Yeah, who were the Kentari? Once we were all Kentari. Those who followed the teachings of the scholar Lucar came to be known as Lucari. The Kentari were obsessed with power and material wealth. Their pursuit of such things was destroying the people and the planet. The Lucari stood against those things, and for that, we paid a terrible price. I see. I suppose you have some questions for me. Uh, why did you leave the home, your homeworld? There was a terrible schism between Kentari and Lucari. It ultimately led to civil war. We lost. In the final days of the war, most of us chose self-imposed exile over death or imprisonment. We gathered on our remaining ships and left Kentar forever. To this day, that event is known as the Great Exodus. I suppose okay. you have some questions for me. You seem surprised to find Kentar here. Why? Much about Kentar was stricken from our records, including its location. Only a few Lucari know of the homeworld. My crew and I were not among their number until now. It's is a shameful matter that many of us would like to forget. I understand, Captain. I suppose you have some questions for me. Well, we should continue on our mission then. The car have transmitted coordinates for the next system for investigation, Admiral. We're ready to depart on your command. Let's go. And where are we now? Okay. Reading portal matter signatures detected by Lucari. Preliminary scans indicate the event occurred within the last 24 hours. Ro General Rodek is hailing us, Admiral. On screen. There has been a large-scale battle in this system. We are analyzing the debris. It appears the losing side possessed technology roughly a century behind our own. Preliminary scans indicate that the battle was very one-sided. 
I recommend we take a closer look at some of the nearby debris. Very well, let's start a scan of that debris ahead of us. Okay, let's scan it. Our scans are showing the wreckage of dozens of ships. They weren't all military either. I'm seeing remains of freighters, mining ships, research craft, even luxury vessels. Was this the Zenkethi Vrodak? Unclear at the moment. We have not detected any Zenkethi debris in the field yet. Whoever did this was powerful, but not honorable. There is no honor in attacking the weak. I'm detecting strong energy signatures ahead. Further scans may prove to be more conclusive. Agreed, let's move to the energy signatures and scan them. Disabled ship? Around 50 ships were involved in the battle. Many were lightly armed, if at all. I am reading traces of engine-grade plasma ahead. It does not match that left by the local craft. Perhaps the aliens managed to score a hit to the engines of an enemy ship. I suggest we advance and investigate further. Right, we'll move to the new energy signatures and an analyze. This is all that is left of a Zinkethi vessel. It appears the aliens detonated the warp core of one of their capital ships after ramming the Zinkethi at full impulse. They fought with honor. For them, it was a good day to die. Tell me more about the Zenkethi, General. They are reptilian, territorial, and aggressive. In battle, they are ruthless and devious. If they fought with honor, they would almost be respectable warriors. They fought the Empire and the Federation and lost. It appears they are preparing for another war, but with whom? I dislike riddles. Let us get to the truth of these attacks. The sooner, the better. Perhaps they are testing the weapon against planets that are not part of the Alliance, hoping that we will turn a blind eye to their crimes. Once they have perfected the weapon, they will certainly use it on their own enemies. Their list of enemies is long. Agreed, we let's continue our investigation. There may be more clues in this area. Agreed, let's continue then. I'm receiving a distress call. It's very faint. I'm sending uh, you the uh, coordinates. I don't know who you are or where you came from, but thank you. What happened here, Captain? What can I tell you? Who are you? Egan Burren, captain of the Pavini starship Bastion. O or what's left of her, anyway. Most of my crew was planet side on shore leave when the invaders warped into the system. We went into battle with a skeleton crew. It's a miracle we survived. Indeed. W what can I tell you? Why did the Zenkethi attack you? I, I, I honestly have no idea. Un until today, we had never seen them. We hailed them. They didn't answer, and then they started shooting. They... they just kept firing, even when we tried to surrender. And then, some sort of energy bomb went off on the homeworld. It killed everyone. They finished off the rest of our ships and left. Somehow, they missed us. Yeah, this is most fortunate for you. What can I tell you? Uh, do you have any nearby allies or safe havens? No. We had no colonies, no allies from other worlds. Until today, we were our own worst enemies. The powers that be on Poven fought amongst themselves from time to time, and everyone thought we were one step away from a global war. In the end, we put all of that behind us to fight these aliens as one. And we still lost. You're still here, Captain. You're still here. What can I tell you? Can we do something to help you right now? There might be survival pods from other ships out there among the wreckage. Could you look for them? 
We're doing all we can to keep life support running over here. I can't start a search and rescue operation on my own. If you have any engineers you could loan or some spare parts, my crew and I would be forever grateful. Our engineers will assist you while we search for survivors. Send supplies and an engineering team. Some life pods. Some life pods. Thank you, whoever you are. Thank you. I I thought no one would come. Thank you, strangers. Thank you. And Dad sent something. Let's see what he sent. I could get it up. Someone heard. By all the gods, someone heard the signal. I'm saved. Let's get back to the disabled ship. Let's keep beam them over. Oh, Dad's sending me barbecue. Uh, good thing it's in Australia. This barbecue place. And Dad's crying because he can't get any of it. Alright. Let's let's try this again. Thank you again. May we seek asylum among your kind? Please, we don't have anywhere else to go. We're sending you the, the location of Starbase K-13. It's not far from here. I have confirmed the captain's story. The planet nearby was hit by a protomatter blast. Estimated casualties in the... Check your long-range sensors. It just happened again. Another detonation. Confirmed. Go to red alert. It is time for a reckoning. The Zinkethi must pay for their crimes. We must go. Now. Before they escape. Agreed. Let's get out of here and listen, let's get going. Uh, more food stuff. I, I bet. Because I hear the thing. Give me one second, everyone. Let's see what he sent. No. Oh. Uh, when you're on house arrest and you need beer, it's a huge, huge trailer attached to a truck. And I'm talking about the kind that you put down onto the ground and it's become your... It is now a home instead of... Instead of like an RV kind of thing. Uh. Okay, now entering the Jod Core system. Sensors indicate a presence of a pre-industrial civilization ahead. Its moon shows signs of recent protomatter detonation. Admiral, I'm detecting Zinkethi life signs on the planet. Okay, they may be preparing another bomb. Whatever the Zinkethi are doing down there, we need to stop it. Now. Tactical advice? Target their cruisers first, if possible. The support they provide to their allies is difficult to deal with, as long as they are active. Now is not the time to sit and chew ligament. We should strike now, before they can destroy another planet. Agreed. Let's Whatever go. Whatever the Zinkethi are doing down there, we need to stop it. Now. Let's go get to that planet and stop them. Zinkethi warships! Red alert! Alliance vessels! This system has been claimed by the Zinkethi Coalition. Your presence is unnecessary. That's the at once. That's not gonna happen. You were warned. So be it. We now walk on the path of violence. Alrighty then, battle stations. To battle. Good battle. 
well fought. The honor of victory is ours. I'm trying to figure out what type of ship ship you are. I can't remember though. You can beam down way too close to the Zenkethi position, Admiral. You're currently far away from any settlements we've detected on the surface. Let's beam down. Admiral, I believe the Zenkethi are using some kind of jamming technology to conceal the protomatter bomb from us. Fighting it could be difficult in this terrain. Okay, recommendations. Their weapon is inefficiently shielded. It leaks chaos at a level our tricorders can detect and track. I recommend we scan for elevated chaos levels and follow the signal. Good idea. Let's scan for chaos and pursue this in Kathy. The chaos particle traces lead into the valley ahead of us. Oh, I see. They followed the waterfall. The rocks here are causing a lot of interference. We should take another set of scans to get our bearings. And there goes my tricorder. Trying to get up on top of that. So, there are some Zinkethi with a taste for battle. Good. Scans indicate they took the path to the east. Why would they destroy entire planets? No idea. Figure it out along the way. They must find some tactical advantage in these actions, for some reason. I'm reading Zenkethi life signs ahead. They are waiting for us. Ah, good. We will meet them in glorious battle. Trying to get luck. Break out the ball lightning. They are using delaying tactics. We must be getting close. The path continues down from here. The protomatter bomb is still ahead of us. The Kaon levels are rising. We're getting closer to the protomatter bomb. Ambush! Stop them! This world must be cleansed!
The trail ends here. I'm reading Zenkathy life signs inside that blocked off cave. Splashing through all that rock will take time. Time we don't have. I'm reading a tunnel behind that waterfall. One that leads to the cave. We must move. Quick. Let's finish this fall and let's follow the tunnel behind that waterfall into the cave then. Move swiftly. And we can take them by surprise. Oh. Wrong way. Look! They've set up the protomatter bomb in here! But we'll need to clear the Zenkathy from the cave before we can do anything about the bomb. Agree, the Zenkathy. <sighs> Take the Zakethi down a few guards. and secure this cavern. This entrance. I'm not liking the looks of this. I think it's on. Oh my. That is a huge protomatter matrix. It's controlled by three regulator consoles, all active and cycling towards detonation. I can shut it down, but I need time. Cover me while I work. I've got your back, Captain. Shut those bombs down. More than Tethy. Defend the Lakari! Shutting down Pylon Alpha. For honor! For the Empire! Your path of violence ends here. isn't
on, Gamma is down. We're all clear. There. It's done. All the bombs are deactivated. We can... Wait. Look! These <coughs> formations are very similar to those we found at the first protobombing site under Conus 3. This can't be a coincidence. We may have found what the Zenkethi are targeting in these attacks. Indeed, Rodak, something to add? Word from the core. Zenkethi ships are dropping out of war. Miles to Scarlet. Admiral, the Zenkethi are on an intercept course at full impulse. Shall we beam up the away team? Yes, beam up. Oh, come on, load up. All right. Okay, the arrow, the Zenkethi command ship is hailing us. Well, this ought to be interesting. On screen. Alliance vessels. I am Fleet Admiral Aronsen Tarak. As you now know, this system has been claimed by the Zenkethi Coalition. Further aggression on your part will not be tolerated. This world is not yours to defend. Leave now while you're still able. We do not recognize your claims, Zenkethi. Your forces have murdered millions. If you are the leader here, it is you who will answer for these crimes. We're not going anywhere till this is over. Then your choice is made. The path of violence. It is what I have walked many times. Without fear, without remorse. Come, let us walk it together. Alrighty then. Fight down! For honesty and for Now we've seen the last of them, General. You may be right. They may return and bring their protomatter weapon with them. Should that day come, I hope to meet them in battle once more with a warrior like you at my side. But for now, I must return to the Empire. There is a matter of great importance that I must investigate there. It's been an honor, General. I think we found a big piece of the puzzle. I believe that Zenkethi are targeting planets with concentrations of those strange crystals. But why? Hmm. A riddle for another day, I suppose. For now, we should return and share what we've learned. About everything. Including the fate of Kentar. Do you think they managed to survive somehow? Perhaps. There are always possibilities, Captain. 
Okay, all decks reported in. We're ready to depart. Let's recall the ships and let's get out of here. See all fighters, that is. Hmm, so it's true. The Zenkethi have a protomatter bomb. All those lives. No one in the Alliance is comfortable with the Zenkethi having a weapon of genocide. What happened to those planets could happen to any world in Alliance space. We need to know more about it and how to stop it. We need to know more about these crystals you mentioned as well. If they're the key to these attacks, we need to know why. Great. Okay, let's go with that. While searching for signs of weaponized protomatter, one of our long-distance research probes made a most curious discovery. It found a Class M planet at the heart of the Gonkra Nebula. That's not the most exciting news, however. The probe detected the presence of sentient life on the planet. The biosigns were very similar to our own. It is possible that we have discovered a lost tribe of Lucari. We're going to investigate and we'd like some backup. The probe went offline rather suddenly after detecting the planet. These people might not be very friendly. Alrighty then. Oh, I think I'll get the mass-produced missile launchers. <laughs> okay, let's transwarp there. And mirrors and smoke. I'm reading a group of starships out there. They're armed, shielded, and combat capable. Let's hope they're not hostile as well. As the ranking officer here, I believe you should be the first to initiate contact. Okay. Thank you. Let's open a, open hailing frequency comms. No response. Perhaps the nebula is causing interference. Okay, let's scan for interference. Compassing for at nebula conditions. No response. Let's okay. Curious. Perhaps they might respond more favorably to a familiar face. May I open a channel? Sure. Worth a shot. Proceed. Unidentified vessels. This is Captain Kumarke of the LSS Rescava. I extend cordial greetings in the interest of establishing peaceful contact between us. Still quiet. Is the Universal Translator online? I'm not certain. Wait. They're locking weapons. Well, red alert fired to disable. I don't understand. Okay, what is going on? Alien vessels, this is Prime Minister Tulamon of the Kentari Union. I've ordered our forces to cease hostilities and ask you to do the same. This is Admiral Wiles of the USS Scarlet. Explain yourself, Prime Minister. There's been a grave misunderstanding. It is customary for us to discuss such grievances in person. Will you accept my invitation to parlay? Yeah, send us meeting site coordinates. Wiles out. The Kentari. They survived. Somehow they managed to survive the devastation of Kenta and make it here. Incredible. Historically, Kentari were quick to distrust and attack. It would seem that hasn't changed. We should be cautious. Despite that, I am ready to transport when you are. Alrighty then, let's go. Beam down.
Ugh. The 14th sacred trees of Lucar. The Kentari destroyed one world with their toxic ways, and it seems they're well on their way to destroy another. Unbelievable. This Prime Minister has much to answer for. I'm Where is she, by the way? And why are we meeting on the street? Wondering that myself. This is from the Qatari Admiral. Apparently there was a minor error in the coordinates they provided, resulting in your current situation. Transmitting updated coordinates for the Qatari Capital Building to you now. Shall we beam you to it? Negative, it's too far from here, we'll go on foot. It's not too far from here, we'll go on foot. That Qatari on the street looks quite ill. I'm reading the extreme levels of toxins in the Qatari, this Qatari's lungs. Without treatment, he'll be dead in, in months. Reading high levels of toxic chemical emissions in the area. Okay, scan the nearby vent. They still use unregulated exhaust systems? Unbelievable! How peculiar! The doors here have built in filtration systems. <laughs> Toxic filter built into the store is substandard at best. What's that machine off to the side? Is some sort of miniature store? It's a vending machine. It's full of breathing aids. People poison the air here and charge others to withstand it. Does that fluid look off to you? Yeah. It's treating acidic fluid, flu uh, fluids with high levels of pollutants. I've never seen this level of suffering. Oh, they pile the refuse in the streets. It's barbaric. There are still heat signatures on this junk. It was placed here recently. Kill the Lucari and her alien lackey. Hatred for Lucari still burns in the hearts of some Kentari, along with violent xenophobia. Hopefully, their leadership is of a more diplomatic nature. Agreed, let's keep moving. And let's blow it up. Qatari voice. Okay, let's check out the account. The colony is providing just enough food to support the Qatari population at current consumption levels. The government has launched a new farm labor program aimed at increasing food production and adding new jobs. The program is expected to launch prior to the beginning of the next crop cycle on the colony. Okay, environment. The structural integrity of several housing blocks has been called into question by independent analysts. Ministers at the Building Authority deny any cause for concern as tower extension projects aimed at elevating the blocks above the small level have commenced. Okay. The lunar colony Oop, I'm is at science. A small fitness epidemic is on the rise. If you find a citizen collapsed on the street, call the nearest medical station. When you purchase bathers, make sure you provide for your children before you provide for yourselves. We must secure the future. Sports. If not known, number 41 of the South Capitol Steelbenders received an award from the Office of the Prime Minister for charitable service yesterday. After the team's victory over the North Capitol Forgers, Lynn celebrated by purchasing Gold Bay Breathers for each fan in the stadium. The Capitol building is a short distance from here. And let's see the Qatari Foundation. Economy page. Asteroid mining in the system has revealed a new mineral. Its primary use lies in power generation, and it could serve as a high-energy alternative to chemical and atomic fuel sources currently in use. The Kentar Energy Consortium has secured initial rights to harvesting the mineral known as hardenite. Okay, environment. Contrary to reformist propaganda, smog levels are stable and decreasing in some quadrants. 
Yes, construction teams are receiving contracts, but this will lead to job creation and affordable housing throughout Kentar City. Remember, as upper floors are bought and moved into, the lower floors are made available to others at affordable rates. Looking for an 80th floor view? Soon you'll be able to get one. United, we are strong. Science. Recent studies on the connection between unprotected breathing and the so-called smog sickness were inconclusive. Many of the planet's population never wear breathers, and none have been diagnosed with the disease. Remember, eat well and work hard. Staying strong is the only true way to keep from getting ill. A sports page. Verano the Beast Moody, number 15 of the Colony Theaters, has received more criticism oh, for speaking <laughs> out against the owners of the various planetary teams. Moody continues to state that the team owners are subjecting the players to horrible living conditions while the owners all live in penthouse suites. Multiple players have gone on the record that their living conditions are fine and they are not being bribed to make these statements. A boycott on all beast souvenirs is still in effect in most cities, though Moody has yet to be suspended by the Sporting Guild. Ow. Conflicting info. Even here, the poor huddled in misery. What? Another attack? He shouldn't have come here. Now you're Go inside. The Kantari have some explaining to do. Agreed. Let's enter the government building here. <sighs> Finally, I can get out of my suit. <laughs> well, this place is a far cry from the smog and squalor we just left, isn't it? Agreed. Welcome to New Kentar. I must apologize for the unfortunate incidents that have taken place. You have arrived during a period of social unrest for our people. Uh, that would explain the repeated attacks. I'm afraid so. The decline of our world has split the Kentari into two factions. The reformists, like myself, who wish to gradually change our way of life for the better. And the traditionalists, who cling tightly to the old ways and all of the destruction that comes with them. The Kentari who attacked you were traditionalist soldiers. They see you, and especially the Lucari, as a threat to their existence. What do the dan what danger do we or the Lucari pose to your people? It's simple. Your kind are well-armed aliens from an advanced culture. To the Trads, you're hostile invaders. And the Lucari? Dangerous anarchists from our distant past, long thought exiled, now returned. And more dangerous than ever. The troubling part is they may be right. About all of you. Yes, uh, yeah, that's just no. So such xenophobia is unwarranted, Minister. Minister Pentaro is in charge of planetary security. It's his job to evaluate all potential threats, foreign and domestic. The idea of working with aliens, with Lucari will be... controversial. That said, our situation is deteriorating. I'm willing to open a dialogue with outside parties. Such a dialogue will be monitored, however. In the interest of planetary security. Your suspicion is misplaced, Minister. We had nothing to do with all this. You're not wrong, Captain. And we realize the need to do something about it. The privileged few are safe above the pollution, but they live on borrowed time. Ecosystems across the planet are failing. We can no longer afford to- Prime Minister, do you think it's prudent to discuss such matters with these outsiders? Scarlet Admiral, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I have urgent news. Uh, 
Okay, everyone, I have to play some ads right now because we're approaching the end, and I don't want to be interrupted by ads, so sorry about this, everyone. Zenkethi warships are on fast approach to the moon of the planet. Katari forces are moving to intercept, but they are heavily outgunned. Go to Red Alert. We'll do what we can to help. Curious. One band of aliens arrives with words of peace, while another arrives bearing the swords of war. How convenient. Coincidence? Or a cunning ruse to weaken our defenses and lower our guard? The Zenkethi are not our allies, as you'll soon see. I believe you. Our moon is home to our agricultural sites and thousands of Kentari workers. Your help protecting it will be welcomed by my government. The sooner you can begin, the better. Okay, let me beam up. Terry moved to engage the Zenkethi forces, Admiral. They won't last long without us, especially against the Zenkethi flagship. Elm, take us in all hands battle stations. Saving their ships might build some trust for the time. signs and several protomatter signals we'd better hurry they may be preparing to detonate more bombs agreed let's get to the moon and stop them get to the moon and stop those bombs now I hope you're Protomatter bomb. It eradicates all life, organic matter. I'm sorry. All is not lost, Minister. While we can't bring back the Kentari who were killed, we can help you restore your moon's food production capabilities in short order. A likely story. For all we know, this is the precursor to invasion. These aliens have destroyed our food and weakened our military, Prime Minister. They mean to conquer us. That's ridiculous. We just risk our lives to protect you. 
Calm yourself, Pentaro, and remember who is Prime Minister here. Captain Kumarke, I accept your proposal. Provided there's full oversight from the Ministry of Defense at every stage of the operation. You'll understand our need for such security measures, I'm sure. I won't let you down, Prime Minister. Have your observation team meet mine on the moon at these coordinates. We'll begin as soon as we're able. We'll be on Overwatch in case a Kethy return. That didn't last long. So Kathy worships inbound. Weapons hot. <laughs> Ready then. The protomatter emitters are in place. The matrix is stable and primed for effect. Let me know when you want me to initiate the restoration. Make it so. Protomatter matrix is stable. We're ready to begin. Initiating primary restoration sequence now. Something is wrong. Everything just. Stopped! Why? I don't understand. I checked the settings myself. That moon should be covered with crops by now. I could use some assistance down there. Please join me at the work site. Yeah, we'll go down there if there's something. What is going on? Should have been restored. Oh. Uh, let's see what Dad sent. All right, let's begin by configuring the flow regulators at each of the transmission arrays. I'll observe the flow rates while you make the adjustments. Okay, understood. We'll adjust each of. Th oh, it's Star Wars. Don't want to deal with that right now. <laughs> All right, let's we'll adjust each of the uh, of the transmit transmitters. Yeah, English second language for a second there. <laughs> okay, resynchronize. Come on. There we go. All set. Curious. Someone made adjustments to the transmitters that could cause a detonation similar to a protomatter bomb. But whoever did it wasn't familiar with Lucari tech. We have safeguards to prevent such a thing, so instead of blowing up, it just didn't work. I hate to say it. But I believe one of the Kentari observers made those adjustments. Better be sir sure. Wait, you hear that? I could use some assistance. What do you think I'm doing here?
I could use some assistance. It's an easier way to to cover you. Attacking us is unwise. Very unwise. <laughs> Come on, hurry up, Kumarke! They just don't know when to quit, do they? No, they don't! Oh, Protomata secured. Okay. Those were traditionalists. I suspect one of their operatives was behind the sabotage here as well. I've locked out access to everyone but you and me. We can make things right without any interference once we return to our ships. All right, let's beam up. All systems are online. We're ready to go. Initiating restoration process now. And there Automatic we go. Matrix deployed. Everything's in the green. We did it. It worked. Our sensors are showing a stable protomatter matrix in the formation of crops at all production sites. We owe you a profound debt of gratitude. Uh, Kamarke made this happen. No thanks to those tra tra traditionalists. Their actions have shamed us all, but they will not get away with it, I assure you. Minister Pentaro is looking into it personally. He has sent some ships to escort you back to New Kentar. We see them. They're on an attack course! Alien vessels! My hand. You and your pathetic Lucari bootlicker. It's time to end this. I will make New Kentar safe once more. Safe from you and the rest of the alien filth in the galaxy. Stand down before more people get hurt, Minister. Final warning. Exile was too good for the Lucari. We should have wiped you out.
His madness nearly killed us all. And for what? Pride, hate, and fear. I wish to formally apologize. Thank all of you in person. Under the circumstances, we should meet on one of your vessels. The Rescava, if you're agreeable. Agreed. We'll be on over. This is a momentous occasion. I'm glad you're here to share it with us. Diplomacy is part of a captain's job, as you know. I hope I'm up for the challenge. Welcome to the Rescava, Prime Minister. I look forward to working together. Thank you, Captain. Most kind of you, after all that's happened. We almost lost everything today. Instead, we can begin to build a better future, thanks to you. There will be resistance from people like Pentaro, but we must continue to look ahead. To that end, we hope to work together with you and your allies. I'm happy to hear it. Kentari and Lucari have lived apart far too long. We've recently begun to explore beyond our world. Perhaps we can do so together. Perhaps. We've got a lot of work to do before then, however. Indeed we do. Well then, let's get started, shall we? After all this, t all this time, the Qatari are here alive. I can hardly believe it. This will be quite the revelation back home. Many Lucari do not look fondly upon the great exes or the Qatari who fo forced it upon us. Still, we may be on the path to reunification once that one that let let us rebuild what we lost with the Qatari. I truly hope so. Gonna get those mass-produced missile launcher. Congratulations, Admiral. Starfleet Intelligence has learned that Martok, the former Chancellor of the Klingon Empire, is alive. Quite a revelation. Until now, everyone thought he was killed in a duel with the current Chancellor on Kronos. Martok is being held in a Sona facility in the Briar Patch. Officially, it's a research facility built to study metaphasic radiation. In reality, it's a high-security prison used to hold political prisoners. General Rodek is leading a covert rescue operation in the Briar Patch. Meet with him there, and help him bring Martok home. All right. In that case, I'll hit accept. Transwarp there, and we'll be ending the stream. Okay, and that is it for tonight. Well, I thank you all for tuning in. If you liked my content, please hit that heart icon down below. This is my normal schedule. Background online on Fridays, which might be changing. Battletech Advanced Universe on Mondays, which, is, which I usually do. And any game of my choosing on Tuesdays. All streams start at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is my Twitter account. I post whenever I go live there or post anything interesting that happens to pop into my floofy mind. And this is my Discord server. You can come hang out with, with us there and see whenever I go live there as well. If you want to, please tune in tomorrow because we're because I'm doing a makeup stream for Baltic Advanced Universe that I canceled, ye canceled yesterday. 